Hey there, guys. Got a review. I'm addicted to this dominance. So today we are reviewing Valentino Womo. So I've already had a few of the flankers, well, a couple. Uh, one of them being Valentino Womo, born in Roma, Yellow Dream, and Valentino Womo, born in Roma, Coral Fantasy. I know. A lot to say. Uh, just before we even start off with the uh, original Valentino Womo, uh, I bought these on a blind buy because I was so intrigued by the line Valentino Womo in general. I was just Womo meaning, meaning man in Italian. But I was so intrigued by just the cool looking bottles, um, the name of them, Born in Roma, Coral Fantasy, Born in Roma, Yellow Dream. Like So I had to buy them blind buy. They weren't too expensive. I think they were both about around 60 to 80 price range, so not too bad for, you know, a couple of flankers. And I'll just say, for first, I mean, the Born in Roma Coral Fantasy. This is a sweet synthetic. It is really nice. I mean, it's... It is a really pretty scent. I mean, you automatically, when you first smell it, you get... That red apple off the top. I mean, I've talked to people before and they've said it, it smells musky off the top. Uh, a little bit citrusy, a um, little synthetic, but it's a really pretty scent. My only problem with it is the longevity. The longevity, I'd say, is about four or five hours. I mean, the first hour of some good projection there, but you got to kind of spray it on. But all in all, pretty good scent. Uh, probably won't be buying it again. I'm going to check out the intense version once I do. But I think uh, a younger guy or even, you know, a middle-aged guy could enjoy this. So as far as the Yellow Dream, this is much more unisex. It's also a sweet synthetic, but the musk at the base in the Coral Fantasy just makes it more masculine. Um, but this is summertime fun in a bottle. This is, you know summer spring you want to smell yummy you want to smell edible you want to smell gourmand i mean this smells like pineapple upside down cake or something i mean it smells really good it's also a little synthetic but i feel like you stand out if you wear this in the summer somebody's gonna be like oh wow what are you wearing i mean uh last pretty good i'd say probably about the same as coral fantasy like four maybe five six hours i mean depending if you wear it in the summer obviously the heat's gonna definitely keep it going projecting a little bit more um, really good. Not my favorite, uh, synthetic wear, but definitely one of my favorite gourmands as in like summertime fun. This is it. Now for the original OG granddaddy, the Valentino Womo original. Ah, just unboxing it. Took the wrapping paper off already, but mm. oh, let's spray this on a, on a testing strip. All right. So let's get it out. And... Give her a couple sprays. Pretty good atomizer. So off top. Huh. Hmm. Okay, this, I see where they get their little edible, yummy, gourmand. Okay, on top, I'm getting like citrus. I mean, that in the notes, it does say it has uh, bergamot and myrtle at the top. Now, myrtle is a small evergreen shrub that grows only so high. Um, so it has some aromatic and some citrus at the top. But right now, there it's this is deep. This is, mm, I must say, this is really deep. This is... This is very deep. There's, you know, there's the bergamot at the top. There's the citrus. There's that myrtle. But there's also, like, the coffee right there. There's, like, coffee in this um, uh, note called ganduja cream. Now, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but ganduja cream. I'm going to put that on the bottom here, and I'm going to spell it out for you guys. But supposedly what that is is it's like a like a hazelnut, like, cream, almost like a, like a Nutella, like, like chocolatey, cocoa, um, hazelnut. I mean... I see where Valentino gets their edible, yummy kind of DNA. I mean, they really step it outside the box. You got the coffee. And then there's like, there is leather in there. Like, there's a very nice base there, too, that just smooths it right out. I mean, this this is this is very beautiful. Now, as we're drying down, um, it's been about, I'd say about 10 minutes. 
uh, that I've been sitting here letting this just kind of dry down, looking through my phone and everything. And wow, I put a little bit on my hand too, so just so I can get to dry down quicker because I did that before I even sprayed it on here. And um, there is a lot more cedar and leather at this base. I mean, the, the, the creamy, you know, coffee smell is still there. This is slightly powdery. Um, I know some guys might not like powdery. I think every guy would enjoy this bottle. I mean, look at the bottle. The bottle is so classy. I mean, this is class in a bottle. This is elegance, and I can't wait to tell more people about this. This is, I mean, damn. I'd say this is... This is definitely my favorite out of the three so far. I mean, I enjoy this. Out of the two of these, I enjoy the Coral Fantasy a little bit more because of that musk and that red apple smell. It's very crispy. I love that. But these two are for, like, very different occasions. I mean, this is for, like, going to a wedding, dress-up event. I mean, you want to smell elegant. You want to smell different. This is, this is it. This is class in a bottle. I mean, this is extremely smooth. Oh, sorry, I got the wrong side there. I really love this scent. I would say, if I were to give this a grade, I would say this is a 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10 scent. I mean, I'm hoping that the longevity is there, but this is beautiful. So, in summation, I would say that this is an amazing scent, class in a bottle, uh, beautiful looking bottle. Um, this isn't too unisex, but a girl could always pull it off if she wants. Anybody with confidence. Uh, this could be the younger crowd, older gentleman um, wants to wear this to smell elegant, go out. Uh, she's going to think you smell amazing. Um, this could be worn spring, summer, fall, winter. Uh, probably winter and fall a little bit more because it smells like, you know, it's a little heavier. It's got a little bit more depth to it. Uh, the dry down is quite fantastic uh the cedar really smooths it out makes it fresh um almost slightly woody but i mean damn this is this is a good one <laughs> so i hope you guys subscribe i hope you keep up uh got more stuff coming out i will label where i got these um scents down in the description below but keep up take care the rain continues, the rain continues. i'm addicted to this dominance